Okay. Yeah. Let's start off with a real life example from a real life personality. The actor was Daniel Craig, the lead actor in the latest James Bond thriller. The shooting of the movie was over and he was returning. And since it was the last day, the people requested Daniel Craig to deliver a public speech. And guess what happened? Daniel Craig was tongue-tied. He simply could not utter a word and deliver a speech. Just imagine if something like this can happen to an international actor, what happens to the normal people? Friends and Toastmasters, public speaking, as we all are aware, is perhaps one of the most dreaded phobias in entire humanity. No wonder people dread public speaking and even Daniel Craig failed at it. But the irony is that those who have actually conquered the fear of public speaking and have mastered the art of public speaking have actually risen to high positions of power, become successful leaders and worldwide personalities. If we look around the world, if we look at the great leaders of the world, I think one common thing that we can see across all the great leaders is their public speaking skills. Warren Buffet, the legendary investor from North America, spoke about public speaking, that if you want to improve yourself, the best way is to improve your communication skills. With his trademark wit, Warren Buffet says that if you can't communicate, it is like winking a girl at the dark. If you can't communicate, it's like winking a girl in the dark. He said this because even if you have the best possible technical skills, unless you can communicate it, you're going to be very ineffective in your team. That's why public speaking is so important. And one more interesting thing, if you go to Warren Buffet's office in the city of Omaha in US, you're going to find a diploma that is hung on his wall. And guess what? This is not a diploma of his business degree that he acquired in Columbia University. This is a diploma of a communication uh, that he acquired uh, from Dale Carnegie in the year 1952. That is how much importance Warren Buffet pays to public speaking and communication. A very landmark research was conducted in the Carnegie Institute of Technology. And the, fine, the research was about what really leads to professional success. And the findings of the research was astounding. The research results showed that only 15% of the success of any professional can be attributed to his or her technical skills and no prizes for guessing that the remaining 85% of the success is due to communication skills. Yet, the irony is that in our college degree, we almost spend 100% of our effort just learning technical skills. So can you tell your friends that if you have completed your college degree, your education is not complete. But the good news is that you can continue and complete that education by joining Toastmasters and picking up on communication and leadership skills. So as members of Toastmasters, I think we are all aware of how effective Toastmasters is in imparting communication and leadership it requires. Otherwise, you would not have wasted your money, your time, and your effort on a Monday evening to come week after week and attend a Toastmasters session. But you know what? So many people outside of the Toastmasters community do not know about Toastmasters and they are not benefiting for the one, from the wonderful uh, benefits that Toastmasters can impart. They say that Toastmasters is one of the best kept secrets. The reason is that Toastmasters does not believe in advertising. Unlike other products which are mainly sold through advertisement, in Toastmasters there are no explicit advertisement. The product itself is its own advertisement. And who is the product? You, the Toastmasters, are the product. So unless you convey this message to your friends, colleagues, people are not going to go and learn about Toastmasters. So what I'm going to do through this session is impart you the messages that you can convey to your friends, colleagues, relatives, and make it easy for them to join Toastmasters. So are you ready? Okay. So toast, in Toastmasters, the leadership and communication are two, the two most important skills that we learn. And let me start with communication. 
In communication, a lot of emphasis is on public speaking skills, and we mainly learn public speaking skills through prepared speeches. So what prepared speeches are, are there five to typically five to seven minute speeches prepared and delivered based on a set of guidelines in a manual. Now, one may think that five to seven minutes is a very short duration of time, but let me tell you, friends, it's much more difficult to deliver a short seven minute speech and impart your message because you've got to be extremely structured to convey your message across. You've got to use opening body conclusion. You've got to use the right transitions. You've got to use storytelling skills. You've got to use voice modulation. You've got to use body language. You've got to use all the elements of speech making to make those seven minutes impactful in order to convey your message to the audience. The legendary American author Mark Twain once said, if you want to make me deliver a two-hour presentation, I am ready right here, right now. But if you want me to deliver a five-minute speech, please give me two weeks of time to prepare. That's how difficult it is to prepare for a short speech. The next is the table topics. Table topics is an excellent way to prepare us for impromptu situations. Our life is filled with impromptu situations. Just imagine that in your company, you're getting into an elevator and your CEO also happens to be in the same elevator. And chances are he may ask you, my friend, what are you working on these days? Those 30 seconds, are your lifetime opportunity to get the attention of your CEO and really make a mark in your career. So friends, are you ready to grab that opportunity? Are you ready to grab that opportunity and deliver maximum impact? That's what learning impromptu speaking skills and table topics can do you. Mahatma Gandhi, a great leader, once faced a similar situation. He was in Great Britain and was supposed to attend a meeting with the King of Britain at the Buckingham Palace. Mahatma Gandhi, as we are all aware, used to dress in a very, very simple way. All he used to wear was a simple white khadi dhoti covering the lower half of his body. And typically, the upper half of his body was bare-chested. So, the Prime Minister of UK, Winston Churchill, was extremely concerned that Mahatma Gandhi would come in this attire and meet the venerable king of Britain. So he rather insultingly asked Mahatma Gandhi, hey, Mr. Mahatma Gandhi, are you going to be dressed up as a half-naked fakir and meet the king of Britain? To which Mahatma Gandhi instantly responded, Mr. Winston Churchill, you don't have to be concerned because the king has enough clothes for the both of us. So, my dear friends, that's the power of impromptu thinking on your feet. So now, let's move to the other skill that Toastmaster teaches, which is leadership skills. There is no other place where you can actually do leadership, learn leadership skills by taking on leadership roles. In Toastmasters, we firmly believe in learning by doing. When it comes to communication, we learn by actually delivering speeches. Similarly, when it comes to leadership, we actually learn leadership by taking on leadership roles. Just take the example of today's meeting itself. Our MC Gaurav, he has co coordinated with all the speakers, all the role takers, and he's doing a wonderful job in putting this meeting together and making this a memorable meeting for all of us. Behind the scenes, our VP Education, Amog, has got in touch with all the Toastmasters, reserved the speech slots, reserved the slots for the roles, and that's how he's put an agenda together with which we can take away a wonderful meeting today. The sergeant in arms makes sure that all the logistics of the meeting are in place so that we can start the meeting in time and we can have a very smooth meeting. And the president, he ensures that everything is in order and he sets the tone of the meeting by delivering a motivational address. So that, my dear friends, is leadership in action right here in this very meeting. And when this is done, meeting after meeting, week after week, month after month, I am sure these role takers will emerge as budding leaders from the communication club. Now, if the members are interested in taking up leadership roles beyond the confines of the club, Toastmasters provide excellent opportunity for that also. 
you can take up leadership roles at a district level you can become an area director a division director or a district director and many of the members of our own club have done that you can also do that and even further you can even take on international leadership roles our own beloved dtm nagraj rao sir has taken on leadership roles at an international level he was the regional advisor what that means is that he has led a set of districts in the entire south asia region and provided his leadership at an international level further he has become the international director and he was on the board of governors of toastmasters international and what the board of directors does is it sets the vision the strategy for the long term for entire toastmasters international so my dear friends the sky is the limit when it comes to leadership opportunities at toastmasters now it is up to you to pick and choose what you want to become be it an entrepreneur in your own company or if you want to climb the leadership ladder at your organization or at your company toastmasters is an in in toastmasters is a wonderful grooming ground to pick up leadership skills and really shine wherever you want to take the leadership roles so now let me narrate a bit of my own personal experience at toastmasters because my experience over the last 7 years at toastmasters my experience over the last 40 speeches on my way to the dtm journey has been an immensely rewarding one on the way to deliver all these speeches on the way to take on the leadership roles i have learned to become a much better communicator a much better leader i have won so many nice friends across the entire toastmasters community i have been fortunate enough to be mentored by one of the very best mentors in our toastmasters community i have been inspired by some of the most scintillating speakers and some of the best speakers in the world so that's the power of toastmasters my dear friends and as my mentor dtm ak patkar so nicely puts it the experience of a pilot just as it is measured uh, in terms of the number of flying hours that the pilot puts in at the cockpit similarly the experience of a toastmaster is measured by the number of times he or she comes at the lectern and delivers speeches going by that with the 40 speeches that i have delivered on the way to a dtm the numerous roles that i have taken the table topics that i have spoken with the president's uh, term that i have done which required me to deliver speech after speech for 6 months in a row i have probably come to the toastmasters lectern at pecan communication club over 100 times and this experience it has taught me to really deliver uh, complex presentations impactful speeches technical presentations to ceos cxos business leaders and customers with relative ease this is not to say that i have mastered public speaking far from it in fact in my previous speech where i spoke about the 10000 hour rule put forth by malcolm gladwell what he says that it requires at least 10000 hours of dedicated practice to reach mastery in any particular subject and going by that i certainly have a long way to go but as they say life is a journey it's not a destination and i am certainly enjoying this journey of learning leadership and communication skills the other wonderful aspect of toastmasters is its recognition along the way along the journey that i've had i've been fortunate to have numerous recognitions and awards be it uh, enthusiastic clap at the end of a speech or a best speaker ribbon or winning a contest at a speech contest or the numerous certificates that toastmasters international gives be it the competent communicator the advanced communication bronze the advanced communication silver or awards like the triple crown award i think there is no other organization that is so benevolent so generous in terms of rewarding in terms of appreciating its members and toastmasters is perhaps one of the best organizations to do that and as again to borrow from the renowned author mark twain the way he nicely puts it one compliment one good compliment can make me go for two full months and that's so true in my case in my case certainly the compliments the rewards the awards that i have received at toastmasters has helped me go for seven long years and thanks to the nice appreciations that i've received from mikon and in particular and the toastmasters community in general i am so grateful for them now i can tell with conviction with the experience that i've had 
for over 25 years in the corporate world that perhaps there is no better place to learn about communication and leadership than Toastmasters. The learning in Toastmasters International is so unique because the entire learning, as I mentioned, is through doing. You learn communication uh, skills by actually delivering speeches, and you learn about leadership skills by taking on leadership roles. Now, you may say that do you really need to join Toastmasters to pick up on leadership and communication skills? Can't you do that much faster by joining perhaps a training course which can teach you leadership and communication skills in flat two to three days? There are numerous such trainings. Now, with my experience, the wide experience that I have in leadership and communication Toastmasters, I can tell you that learning about communication and leadership skills is not instant coffee. You can cram technical skills, you can take a technical course and learn things very fast because all you have to do is memorize. But learning about leadership and communication skills is like transforming your personality. And you cannot transform your personality overnight. So that's how if somebody tells that you can learn leadership and communication skills just by attending a course, please be aware. And there's one more important reason why Toastmasters is so different from the regular training institutes. In Toastmasters, like I mentioned, you learn everything by actually doing it. You learn communication by speaking and you learn leadership skills by taking on leadership roles. Whereas in a training course, typically it's the trainer who does most of the talking, who does most of the teaching. And you get a little bit of opportunity through some of those small case studies. So the learning is simply not complete through those kind of experiences, unlike Toastmasters, where you actually learn by doing stuff. That's how Toastmasters learning is so effective. Now coming to some of these online uh, sessions that we are now forced to have because of the COVID situation. So there are concerns and genuine concerns from some of the Toastmasters that these online uh, sessions are perhaps not so effective. And some of these concerns are very valid. So, uh, uh, for example, the body language is perhaps not as effective. The eye contact is not as effective. But let me tell you that online meetings have their own advantages, although there are some shortcomings. For example, I've experienced that online meetings, I can fast track my speeches. For example, I've delivered four speeches, four very difficult speeches in the span of just two months. And I uh, certainly encourage many Toastmasters here to take advantage of these online sessions and fast track your projects as well. Similarly, there is no time and constraint, uh, constraint of location and distance in online meetings. So you can attend meetings very easily from the comfort of your homes. And in fact, you can attend meetings anywhere in the world. And in fact, Toastmasters International encourages you to do that. If you look up, look up the Toastmasters International website, you find many clubs which are online only clubs and they encourage participation from Toastmasters from across the world. And you can really benefit from that experience. You can attend a meeting in US, you can attend a meeting in Singapore, you can attend a meeting in London and just imagine the kind of learning that you can have attending such international meetings. All you need to do is just look up the Toastmasters International website and those online coordinates are provided there. So my friends, in my 25 years of experience in the corporate world, in my experience of playing leadership roles in India, in US, in Japan, in Europe, I can tell with conviction that Toastmasters International is the best forum to learn leadership and communication skills. So fellow Toastmasters, are you also convinced you can unmute and you can uh, convey your message. Yes. Are you, oh. are you yes. yes, sir. Convinced, yes. Mr. Roy. Thank you so much. So here is my call to duty. If you are convinced, I would urge each and every one of you within this one week to at least convey to one friend or colleague of yours about the benefit of Toastmasters so that he or she can attend a meeting as a guest and see the benefits on his or her own uh, terms and can then join Toastmasters and benefit from it. Mr. Roy, can I tell you how I communicate? I am convinced. Oh, yeah, sure. Because of your speech today, now I am going to apply for the leadership, that uh, VPP leadership election now. Otherwise, Wonderful. I was afraid. Wonderful. You must take leadership. Role. You have motivated me. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. And like you told, 
there's no better place than Toastmasters than actually learning stuff by doing. You can deliver your speeches, you can take on leadership roles, and you can learn by doing. As the legendary Benjamin Franklin once put it so nicely, you tell me and I forget. You teach me and I remember. But you involve me and that's where true learning comes. Over to Toastmasters.